total aside, can we get our ECAN rates off the council's bill? Because they double their rates and it lands on us. And we can, because we're one of the only councils in New Zealand that allow them to piggyback on the district rates. Yeah, Canterbury so does. So yeah. let's, let's get them off. Let's cut the deal. They can be big boys and charge their own rates because it just makes ours look even worse. Yeah, look, 100 grand, yeah, picking them up. Right? Yeah, yeah to put the percentage up. Yeah, yeah, but we've got to collect them. What's the net gain for the pain it causes? Um, yeah, I think it has done across other councils across the country, but it's definitely uh, Canterbury, and obviously we've talked about this. We did explore it some years ago. Um, yeah, I can't remember what the outcome was, but yeah, I'd, your point is correct. <laughs> it throws up X amount of dollars on, and look, I mean, the increases are going to be driven largely around public transport. You know, what people don't understand, it's like our... It's a great example what pools are going to cost 327 theatres uh, X, all those sort of things. Public transport is 50% of that rate. And, you know, does everyone use it? No. Is it good for our community? Does it, you know, does it mean people can gain the, you know, accessibility into their older ages, uh, later years? Anyway, we've got sidetracked, so we'll bring us back. We need to um, get uh, a decision around the LTP uh, moving forward as far as what should and shouldn't be in there. Um, uh, Mr Train, our Chief Executive, uh, was discussing around what is in the plan um, versus what uh, is being discussed for whatever reason in the public realm at the moment. So uh, there again we go back to what we've consulted on, what's currently in the plan versus uh, what isn't and where do we want to land on this. Can I please add a comment to, after the lovely sermon, thank you, sir, for helping to encapsulate and clarify um, some of the issues. Uh, you can drop your option three, because then you're talking about the timing. Um, very little impact as far as your overall debt and what have you. It just uh, spaces out when the interest actually um, happens, but it still brings you all the community benefits and honors all of the resolutions you've already made. If there's changes in the funding as far as uh, the price of things or uh, your proposed plan comes in, that actually helps to improve our bottom line. That's a very good, much a good news story. We have to actually clarify, if there's really not an issue, do or do not, if there's really not an issue, maybe we reposition our whole narrative for this consultation document about setting ourselves up for the next three years. Maybe this, this is about, come and talk to us about the direction we are heading. Are you happy that we're investing so much money in infrastructure to to bring things up to pace. Not talking about the specific projects and in infrastructure, but talking about the whole vision of the community. Maybe that's what your consultation document is about. Are they happy with the direction you are heading? Just a thought. Uh, look, my thinking just roughly is, and it goes back to the capital overall, um, the same picture that I've sort of been painting. If you take three out, but yet two, sorry, I've lost my options again. Uh, we're right that way. And if you change to two, because ultimately, if things are currently in the plan, it's going to be a um, decision around the council table. Um, so you, uh, it's something along, peer back and, and look for capital savings or something like that. Because there again, not doing f the community facilities is, is not going to get the savings that we need. And so we're going to have to look for significant capital, cha uh, capital savings. We're going to get the feedback. We know we will through a long-term planning consultation. People will tell us everything. Um, so I don't have any issue with that. We'll hit, we've got the decision on the 26th of March, uh, which will be, uh, we will know whether it's in budget or not. Um, everyone will get the opportunity to have a say on that one. And so we've just got to be careful that um, we're getting something audited that is not going to be correct for the future. So, um, look, as everyone... Probably, I'm, I'm sure we're not going to get unanimous um, uh, 
uh, decision exactly on this doc, but uh, is everyone com comfortable along those lines, or are people comfortable, or would anyone like to make comment on that question? No, no, totally. We're gonna. I'll move it in a minute, and then we'll debate it. Well, I'll move are, it we, are we supposed to be feeding back in some stuff now to Vincey? Because I have quite a few questions. Yeah. Or just. I, I think through um, in response to Councillor Scott, I think we've got to feed back, but it's more about the con the the consultation document is actually about this, whereas at the moment it sort of heads. It's heading towards do the theatre or not. And I think it needs to be a lot broader than that. Or am I misreading it? Well, I 100% agree because that's actually not our problem. Our problem is, is 300 million. Yeah, it, it, always, it always has been. And that's why when we try and isolate it to an individual project, the savings don't deliver you anything. And that's an honest conversation with the community. Whether you've got a, and I'm sorry, I think, I still don't understand the motivation, but, um, some people have what my view is preconceived ideas and aren't coming up with any alternative. So that's 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 my view. We need to focus on what we are delivering, and that's a, sh a yeah. hell of a lot of capital. I guess I, yeah, I've got pretty. I, my big thing is is the debt that we're taking on, yeah. and 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 where we've come from. If you want to see what's what's going to be in the going forward, you just look backwards and you see what the pattern and pattern is, and the pattern is the same. Keep increasing the um, the debt ratio, keep increasing debt. Um, OPEX has gone through the roof, and we're getting up near our, at the and top of our top of our space, which is a long way from where we were six years ago. And and through you, um, in response to you, Councillor Booth, how I look at it is, if you look at our own central government, they go through these phases. They'll crash into debt and then they pull themselves back up again. And I think we're in that 10 year period where we are crashing into debt. The trick is to make sure we can get out the other side safely. And I think that that's what we're doing here because all our assets are needing significant work. Water needs significant work. The roading is just our normal plan, but that's expensive every year. All of our community assets, no matter which one you look at, they're all in, they all need work. And it just so happens that we've, we've um, picked on the stadium because of earthquake prone, and we've picked on the, the, the theatre for the same reason, and I would suspect the museum will be in a similar boat. So, so we're in that period where we, go, we have to borrow to get our, our assets up to speed. Now, To, to be able to repay that debt, our OPEX has to be brought into line. And that is a review of all those fees, a review of our, of our, op of our expenses to bring it into line so it breaks even, ideally makes a surplus to downpay, to repay debt. That's what we've got to really concentrate on. And how we deliver those yeah, services. And, and, and that's where council, you have to hold us as the senior managers, to account on that, you know, we we have to, you know, at a at a whim, we'll go and get a lawyer or consultant to do something. We have to stop that, you know. We do. We have to be very careful on what roles we're employing and what they do. We've got really talented people, and we need to use them appropriately. So it's all of that actually. Make sure we do the fees review. And actually, to be honest, in this consultation document, that should be a section. The fees are cheap and we need to lift them. What do you think of that? I could do that. That's very doable. Sounds good. Well, OK, um, we will go to feedback. Let's get some more feedback for the consultation document because we need to do that. So we'll go to well, Councillor Scott first, I think, and then back over to Councillor Pye, I think. You're a bit nervous to talk. You're more <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. I just got just a couple, sorry, not page turning again, but just some comments. Um, Vincy, I, I just on, on, they don't have page numbers, sorry, but that, that definitional key phrases around depreciation, I reckon I can help you do that better. 
because that is very amusing. No, no, right. thank you. You're so I wrote a few things out, so I'll yeah. share that with you, and I'm sure Councillor Pai will have a look <laughs> at that too. Yeah, um, just around LTP community drop-in sessions, I appreciate that it's just sort of a space, but at what point do we get a does a communication plan go into this? So, like, do we say we will be here, we're having a public meeting? What does that go in this document? Uh, yes, I specify that. That was more a placeholder about the where, but we do actually will have dates and times. In that document, but yes. Do, oh, that's good, okay. Um, I thought in the section, what's the issues, I do find it, if you're a layman and you, you know, paragraph through it, say, so now we have to replace quite a few expensive items and we have no cash reserves to help fund it all. And then f the next couple of paragraphs down, we talk about those facility upgrades seem like a lot of money, but because we borrow for those, we can afford to do them as they don't have as big an impact on rates in the short term. One minute you're telling me we've got no money, next minute, oh, but we can go to the bank and borrow heaps. So it's just that balance and wording. I, feel I, like I, we're I agree, Councillor Scott. We yeah, need to we're not, one word that minute properly. we're broke, and next minute, hey, but don't worry. <laughs> so we're going to borrow. Maybe just a bit of work there, <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, and then under what's the proposed plan? Um, Oh no, I decided to leave that after the last conversation. Um, around option one, so I, I don't know where we landed with that. I think we've decided to take out three, but anyway, I'm sure we'll get sorted with that. I don't know that we've actually agreed what the question's going to be, because what I'm actually hearing, it's really about the comfort levels of debt, is, is where your conversation was heading towards. What's the comfort levels the community has around the debt? I don't think that is what it's about because, as I said in a workshop, debt is a noose around your neck, but so is not doing anything yeah. <laughs> because then the next generation just has to get themselves into debt to do stuff. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't, I, I kind of feel like we thrashed this out the other week and I'm, I'm comfortable with the three options because we're going, there are only three options, there's always other options, and we will get that feedback from. Um, potentially, I'm happy to, you know, call the last one, save 100 million in capex rather than take out the theatre and the stadium. I don't. I actually don't really care because our community will tell us. I'm sure. And I think we need to encourage people who give us feedback to put in um, submissions because I could get feedback from a thousand people, but I'm only one vote. Mm -hmm. um, and if the other councillors don't see that feedback from those thousand people, I'm only one vote. And so we really need to encourage everyone to be part of this. Mm. No, that's OK. Uh, option one, Vincey, that page there. Just under risks, um, we, you, you've got LOS drop, mm -hmm. but nowhere in the document have we actually said level of service, so normal people wouldn't know what that meant. So just there must be somewhere in here it says level... Is it on the front page? It, it's in the definitions. It's in the definitions, yeah. but we don't actually put LOS after. Yeah, I know, that's what I meant. Okay. Sorry. Yep. So we might just need to sort that. Um, option three, this page here. I do hate when we write statements like, can do work on other community facilities with an LTP life potentially. And I think, like what? So um, my question is, we, we say it's a benefit if we don't do community facilities, but we can do other stuff. But, geez, we've, I'd like to know what, what you think we could do because we can't work that out ourselves. But anyway, maybe that just needs a bit of redefined. And under risk, need to pay back MBIE money. Now, I'm pretty sure we've fleshed that one out too, and we've had that discussion, and Nicole has told us that we draw down the funds on milestones we achieve... We, so to me, we've been achieving our milestones, we've been drawing down the money. That's the end of that. It's just like any government funding, you can only draw down when you've, when you've completed a milestone. So it's not like we haven't achieved much. So I question whether that is a risk. So we so don't have to pay back the money if we don't deliver the Heritage Centre? We've been drawing down on the milestones. 
Um, oh, look, on that, I had a conversation with, um, and, and it's still, unfortunately, it's a don't know, had a conversation with um, Robert Gilbert, uh, Gil, uh, Gilbertson? Yes. Uh, the other day, and he was interested just with the, you know, conversation in the paper, that sort of thing, and, you know, he said it is an unknown, you know, you don't want to be first cab off the rank, but we don't know, and we won't know either way, because it's going to end up being a decision of a minister to say, hey, we want to get that money back, and so it is, it's still a risk, but should it be in here? If we don't, if we decide to reword this and go, um, you know, capital instead of community uh, facilities is the number two, then, uh, you know, peer back capital program, um, capital program's decision for council, then the risk will be different. It won't be specific to that, any, that one project, I guess. Around um, this page, it's about balance the next 10 years. Just need to update that graph, I think, after our conversations from the infrastructure strategy, theatre royal cost, but also the dog pound wasn't in here either. So just make sure that reflects this one. That's my picture. I'm just a wee bit uncomfortable. Our rates good value for money when we tell people how much they spend clothing, petrol. I don't know. I just, I know what you're trying to do, but I just... Just a model that's been used in the last two consultation documents, and I just thought that that was what Timaru likes to put out there. We don't have to put that out there by any stretch. No, of look, means. others might have another view, but I just get a bit edgy. Yeah. What are you, are you talking about? The comparison to food, clothing, phone, yeah. 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 Any people coming up and saying, "I oh, had you, yeah, that, that's not me." Get bogged down in all those conversations. Just leave it out and be done with it. I couldn't. I couldn't see what was in there either. But anyway, I, I know what you're saying, Vincey. It was in there before. So and to be totally fair, probably when your rates were like forty-six dollars, better story. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> well, I'm saying that it's you know if we're talking about being transparent to cost, so that you know it is what it is. I wish I had that um, household energy uh, bill, but I had daughters. So. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'd be really happy with a $92 petrol bill every <laughs> week. Um, what, what, the only benefit, I think, is around... Because we, we all know that we're going to get a lot of feedback from fi fixed income, and it goes yes. back to that rationale around understanding what a basket of goods is based on income. And, you know, it's that conversation around what is or isn't affordable, and that's... Um, in the eyes of the beholder, I guess. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, I'm neither here nor there on whether it's in or out. So to summarise the feedback that I'm getting, we take away the term community facilities and we talk about capital projects. Just keep it at that very high level, um, which will take around, uh, away some of the um, project-specific uh, arguments. We're in grief. I did some percentages over 10 years, you know, 73% um, on water and roading. You could yep. split that, 8% on community, X percent on A, B and C. And I'm just wondering whether that's the key to say, do you believe we've got the balance, because you're talking about mm -hmm. balance, of our capital right in terms of 30% in water, 30 whatever percent and I don't know, look I haven't got them at the top of my head I actually probably do yep. but is that the sort of conversation we want to have to say well you know you're trying to balance this stuff 271 million over 10 years on water 226 on roading 52 million on theatre museum 24 on stadium you know have we got that balance right over 10 years and if the if the viewers no you haven't you need to pull it back by 200 million. Well, actually, all of them are affected because you'd have to pull back water, you'd have to pull back all of them. Because that's, that's, the, that's the nub of it. I tend to agree, and I do wonder if those graphs that we have in there that are bars, that just stack bars on top of bars, don't actually give a good graphic of that. Mm. I think we should just take the 10 years in a pie chart, of course. 
I think, pie chart. <laughs> and, would and be far better. Because then you can see again. exactly what the Chief Executive is referring to and do we have that balance right. And, yep. and, and it should be set up and here's, here's the OPEX. Have we got the balance of this OPEX right in terms of um, rate increases, fees increases? What do you think about user charges? Should they pay more? Because that, that alleviates rates a bit. Um, have we got the right staffing mix and so forth? Which I'm not sure why we do that, but we need to think that through. And you could also do that by a few graphs that show where we've shifted things. So if you concentrate on those high levels, have we got this right? Mm -hmm. People then will give feedback. Of course the um, stadiums and the theatres will come up in that feedback, and that's good. Let's have one more um, question. With option one, status quo, mm. do everything we planned in the first three years, we're not, we've, we've cut right back on the um, city hub and we've taken the art gallery out, haven't we, and deferred the airport, so that's not actually the status quo. Um, and I'm just wondering if we could have a rethink about how, because we, mm -hmm. we haven't really addressed those things in this document. Like, are people okay that we've pulled those out? Mm. Um, so I think we need to cover that somewhere. How do we focus on that? And Councillor Pye, you don't have a bias towards pie graphs at all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the absence of Councillor Bird, I'd throw a dad joke in there. Um, <laughs> um, so that pie graph was the 10-year on OPEX, and you're suggesting the same thing on CAPEX and... Just Maybe on that graph, though. Oh, yeah, we'll do different colours. No, 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 sorry. No, no, I'm talking about the cost to run council. Are all the wages or something in there? Because that... Just doesn't the balance doesn't feel right to me. <laughs> like corporate activities being the bulk of the money, more than a quarter. Mm -hmm. Does does that is that including the entire wage bill for the entire council? Well, we need to make that clear because a lot of those people are spending their time on roading and footpaths, waste minimisation, and and things like that. So we we need to make that very clear because I'd look at that graph and go. Well, you don't want to know what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yep, 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 yep. So um, what you could actually do there is actually have what corporate activities includes as a list underneath there. No, I actually think different to that. I think you should be pushing. Those people that work on roading go under roading. Those people that work underwater go underwater. And you'll go underwater. <laughs> Which means your corporate function will shrink considerably. Yeah, look, I agree totally. They should be allocated largely. It can't be that hard to, to where they work. Is that the management? Or just show them as a totally separate... Because all your salary and wages would have to be pulled out. No, but, 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 but that doesn't serve a good purpose because what you're doing, you'll feed a rhetoric that we're fat on corporate and actually we're not. You do run lean... Hmm? We run lean. We run lean. So therefore, that needs to be demonstrated, and it can't be that hard to actually do that. I think it's about pulling out some of those budget line items. Uh, or oh, that might be a challenge. Surely, for, uh, Hannah after the has meeting. percentages on ten percent work in water, eight percent work. You must have those stats. But, if, but if you do those percentages, you'll have it, so that we can do the pie chart. Um, yeah. it, it, you're just moving like your line item that talks about salary and wages and REM and pulling it out of that one activity and, or, yeah. Uh, Councillor Scott, I don't know if we got to the end of your fee feedback. We did? Cool. Uh, further feedback? Yeah. I Council had Pye. some, but I'll just email it. It's just wordsmithing just word stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Councillor Shannon, Councillor. Yeah. Uh, Councillor Pollington, anything further on feedback? Uh, oh, Councillor Parker. No, I, I agree um, with the conversation that's been going on. Um, I'm not sure I overly fussed on the black and white layout. Um, I know. Um, 
But I, I just think sometimes we just treat the fact over and over again, you know, with the, with the budgets that we've gone through workshops and um, we've kept under the, the debt cap as we requested and we're still not happy, we still want to go back more and it's like, you, you can't keep, we can't keep going back over and over the same information. It is what it is. It's just time to make a decision. It's me. Alrighty, okay, so anything further from officers? So the, so the general feedback, let's just um, get a few nods, uh, knowing that what we're adopting as far as draft. So um, there's one, do everything we planned in the first three years, and then two is gonna be peer back uh, and do a peer back capital program, something along those lines. I don't know what the words exactly are. Is everyone, we'll come up, so. you'll come up with it, yeah. And, and I think, have we got the balance right? What um, the chief executive was saying around our priorities for the percentage of spending? Yeah. Um, so, sorry, I'll jump back to the uh, council booth. No, you're all good. Do you want to? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So we'll go to the recommendation. Um, and the recommend will, uh, recommendation will reflect the conversations we just had. Um, so one uh, is not correct. So it is um, uh, do we do three? Should be one, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So three is do we uh, do all within the next few years? Is modelled uh, two, uh, or yeah, is peer back? And then the final one is that council provide any feedback on the LTP consultation, which has been uh, received. Uh, any further questions, discussion? Uh, I'm happy to move that. Can I have a seconder, Councillor Pai? Uh, any further discussion, any debate? Uh, put the motion, all those in favour, please say aye. aye. Against? Carried. Thank you. We are at the end. Wow. Um, and before we do go, uh, about to finish, but um, thank you to councillors, uh, but thank you to the staff because there has been a phenomenal work, and I know we're pull pulling up on what are some minor things, but there's been a, a lot of work and hours gone into getting some of this documentation in front of us. Understand, you know, uh, timeliness has not been uh, perfect, but you know that's that is life, and, and we've we've got there. So thank you for all the work. We appreciate that, and um, but it's going to be a good opportunity to have a good, open, honest. What I love about our community is very open and honest. They will give us the feedback uh, whether we want to hear it or not. So I don't think we'll have any issues there. And the key thing is, you know, that the conversations at the moment, um, yeah, whether it's pa uh, paid adverts or front page. Um, you know, stories, it will get people engaged. So, um, you know, they're going to be talking about the long-term plan, which is, you know, pretty exciting. Uh, as exciting as it can be, it might get more people interested in democracy. So that's a positive thing. So uh, thank you all for your time and meeting closed. Cheers. I'd just say oh, something. Sorry. Can I thank the councillors for debate? It's really good. And um, I enjoyed that and I think we got a lot out of it. <laughs>